Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second ever TNR race. It's a very wet qualifying session here in China. And being the 2017 calendar for this season, of course, we're not in Bahrain at this stage. We've just set a lap on the intermediate tyres, but just like last week in Albert Park, the weather is improving as the session goes along. So the best lap time is going to come at the end of the session. And you can see our delta there, massively positive on this second set of inters. Some drivers though, on the soft compound tyre, might be struggling to go second for the moment. But as the lap times improve in the ever drying conditions, OP Magic manages to take pole for the McLaren team. So are Honda on pole, strange. Anyhow, maybe it's even stranger that there's a Haas and a Manor in second and third. Off we go, big wheel spin for Dabsy. It looks like he's got a massively better start than OP Magic, and in fact he's already passed before this snail of turn one. That could have been very hairy if we didn't break as uh, Opie comes across the front of us. But goes wide and we snatch that position away from him there, almost understeering off the track. But we are up into P2 and right behind our all-time greatest rival, Dubsy, as we slightly pull away actually. Indeed, by the end of the lap, it is a two-man show already. A big lock up for the Haas. However, he has the best line on the exit for the traction and maintains the position. No way I'm going to get around him at the last corner. Very awkward corner this is, especially with that bollard there. Anyhow, we will complete the first lap, and he does get away in that stint. And on the end of lap six, my tyres aren't worn enough usually to pit, but I decide it's the best time to try and get an undercut. So in we go, onto the medium compound tyres, planning a two-stop of course. Come out in 11th. But a couple of cars, in fact not a couple of cars, a lot of cars are in the pits at the end of lap 8. We've got Wimpernator in front of us, we've got the DRS from him, but behind, yes that's behind, Dubsy has just come out of the pits, so the undercut has worked. What's more, Wimpernator in the Red Bull goes a little wide, we might be able to get this position from him, and that would be very nice to have one car between Dubsy and I as we battle for the net lead. v this is the next target, we'll see if we can catch him. He's pitting actually. And that's perfect timing because we get the DRS and he doesn't hold us up at all. However, Dubsy is slightly faster on those slightly fresher tyres. Two laps fresher, of course. He goes for an outside manoeuvre there. Oh, also noting that he's on the soft, so we're on the medium. So he has a compound better traction. And we left him some space. He's still on our left. We can't chop him off here, but we should get good traction here. Despite being on the non-favourable tyre, him having to hold that line tight meant that he couldn't get the power down. But with DRS it should be a very easy move for him and the Haas comes flying past and then demotes us to P3 as OP is still out there without having pitted yet. At the next lap we have a big dive down the inside here. No contact though, very respectful driving between the two of us. And we can't get the traction though, he's in the better position for that. So we'll follow him through this middle sector. Nowhere to pass here. Although we got very close to his diffuser there, that could have been tragic. So now we've got a big slipstream coming from way far back. Will we be able to make a move here? Yes. On the brakes in time for the corner? Not quite. We almost parked it on the apex there. If we did, it might have been actually a move that's paid off, but it did not. OP Magic just bit it, by the way. And we get a three-second penalty. Unbelievable. That's not going to be good for our race. We really need to get past now and hope that his strategy isn't as good as ours. That's a DRS manoeuvre if ever I've seen one. And around the outside we go. A little bit of contact, but it wasn't too bad. I don't think we both get out of the corner with all our pieces of car. And, oh, what happened there? He's backwards. I think he went to go into the pits there and may have misjudged uh, the separation between the cars. There was no contact as you could hear and see on my screen. That's very unfortunate for him. Anyway, we pit the lap after he does, and that's V-Fingers almost letting us through there, I'm not sure if that was the case. We get the fastest lap at the stage of the race. And here's OP Magic, our final target in the race. He tried a one-stop. Very, very daring at this track. Such high wear. He's in front there with the traction, but I think he's going to have to go into the pits. Let's see. Yeah, he goes flying past into the pits. There's no way that's going to work. Good try, though. Anyway, here we are at the finish line. We're going to win our first race in TNR at the second time of asking, and take the championship lead. HSV and OP Magic also on the podium. Good recovery from OP. 
Dubsy, unfortunately, falling down to eighth for him. Anyhow, we'll see you guys next time under the lights in Bahrain.